everyone, this is Pedro from Python List time with one more video. Today I'm gonna do a quick video about Databricks Serverless that's being made generally available in the last .NAI Summit. But before I'm gonna give you a 30 second snapshot of CEO Ali Gush of Databricks that gives you a brief explanation of what Serverless is. And then I'm gonna tell you how to use in a notebook and in a job. All of Databricks now is available in Serverless. Whether it's our notebooks, or whether it's our Spark clusters, or whether it's you know workflows, job processing, make sure that it instantaneously comes up. There's no more clusters. Everything just works super, super fast. In fact, today, uh, you're paying us for idle time if you're not using serverless. Actually, you're paying the cloud vendors a lot of money. Uh, and then you're paying us, in addition to that, uh, for idle time. Uh, with serverless, um, you know, you're just paying for what you're using. There, in fact, there is no cluster to set up for it to be idle or not be idle. Okay, so we'll take care of all that for you under the hood. How to connect to serverless compute data bricks. First, you need to enable service compute. To enable, go to data bricks. Under your account console, go to settings, then feature enablement. Make sure that serverless compute for workflows, notebooks, and data live tables are enabled. Go to your workspace. I've already have one here, but you can create a new one. Test serverless. Then these notebooks already connect to serverless. All right. It takes a few seconds to start if it hasn't started yet. To run the notebook, you just press run the cell. You run the notebook. It's taking 10 seconds to run this table. I just got like a random table for a system catalog. You can see performance of your query if you click here. See query performance. So that's the UI for your serverless. So that's a notebook. If you're not to run a job, you go workflows, create a job, test, type notebook, path, then it's already selected serverless. I don't need to pick up a job cluster. Create task. Run up. So this one took 53 seconds. Now you can see query history and see this is the query. And then you can go to query profile. Also, if you want to see how much you're spending in serverless, you can query the available usage on the system billing usage table and run the query. And then you'll see on SQU name, premium job less serverless compute and in your region. And then you can see how, much, how many DBUs that job used. Another thing to know is general limitations. Just to name a few, you cannot do Spark RDD APIs. You can only use in the catalog. And R and Scala are not supported. You have to do either SQL or Python. All right, that was a quick one. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, like the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.